Hey guys, happy Monday to you. Um, Rational Reviewer here. Um, with the holidays coming up and parties and everything, people tend to do cheese uh, boards, you know, with the fruits and the nuts and all that good stuff. And uh, we were at Trader Joe's and found this. And I thought, hey, you know, let's go over some cheese that somebody might want to do for their... Um, cheese board for the holidays for their parties or get together or anything like that. So uh, this is uh, Beecher's Handmade Cheese and it's got four different kinds. It has a flagship, a new woman, Marco Polo, and Deluche. And I'll go over each one. Now nutritional facts um, each one of these cheeses, uh, serving size is one ounce, and it gives you 120 calories. Um, and, you know, they're cheese, so it's going to be a little high on the fat. Uh, total fat, 13. Uh, saturated fat, 35. Cholesterol, 10. Sodium, 7. Um, zero dietary fiber, zero carb, and 6 grams protein. And it is basically the exact same thing all the way down so uh, makes it pretty easy now this is uh, from uh, Seattle's Pike Place Market in New York City's Flatiron District uh, visitors to Beecher's glass wall cheese making kitchens witness firsthand the crafting of their signature favorite flagship cheese so uh, I thought I would go ahead and open it up and then we can go over each cheese. So this is the way they come. They give you a little wedge of cheese and the name of each cheese. And then on the back of the box it tells you a little bit about each cheese and how it's supposed to taste and all that good stuff. So. Let me get in here. Sucks having fat fingers. So that's the new woman. Whatever that means. That's the Deluxe. This is the flagship. And this is the Marco Polo. And man, my kids are going to be happy when they get home from school because they love cheese. All right, so we finally got it all out of the packages. And let me tell you, they're in there good. Um, so we have each cheese. This one's just kind of broke off, so it's still got some in there. Uh, but the rest of them I was able to get out relatively unscathed. Uh, that'll be me and that. So, let's start off with the first one they have, which is the flagship. And it says, Beecher's Signature Cheese has a complex flavor and an ever so slight crumble. Uniquely robust and nutty. So, let's see. So, I'll just take a little taste. It is different. Does it crumble? Sure does. Oh yeah, see look. That crumbles nicely. So, let's take a taste. It's definitely nutty. And it's definitely, well hello. It's definitely robust. It's, it's not a weak cheese, but it's a good one. So I can taste the nut in it. It's kind of like, um, I don't know. It's good. Alright, 
So the next one is the new woman. And this one is Jamaican Jerk Spice uh, Create a Savory Cheese that's earthly, nutty, and spicy. Delicious alone or melted in a recipe. So let's check that one out. Oh yeah, you can smell the you can smell the Jamaican spice on there. That's different. I don't get earthy out of it though. I do get the spice, which makes it really savory, but I did not get the earth out of it. But maybe that's just my palate. All right, so we'll go to the next one, Marco Polo. And the Marco Polo is blended with black and green peppercorn. Marco Polo is an adventurer, as it is namesake, and is rich in savory um, something and butter notes. So, let's see. Now this one smells like it's really super mild. Oh man. That's a good cheese. This reminds me of texture wise almost like a Gouda. You know, it's kind of creamy, and but man, them peppercorns, they punch you. That's good. I like that. And the last one is the Dutch Hollow. Uh, this one, it's, uh, it's produced with Jersey cow's milk and is a riddle, rindless double cream cheese, rich with butter fat, tasting lightly tangy and elegant. It's definitely the softest cheese on the tray here. This one might be like a uh, mozzarella almost, texture wise. Well, it's definitely creamy. Tastes like a cheddar. Oh my God, that is so good. I would say this is probably the best cheese on here than this one, and then that one, and then that one. This one's more like a... Oh my God, I cannot believe I can't remember the cheese. You put it on spaghetti? Parmesan? Yeah, thank you, camera person. Parmesan. It's more of a parmesan -y type cheese because, you know, it crumbles and the texture wise. I mean, it's amazing, but each one of these cheeses has a different flavor. It's like each one's a different song almost. It's really good. All these cheeses are good. So if you're the person out there that enjoys um, doing cheese platters for the holidays with grapes, nuts, whatever, a um, little prosciutto, whatever the case may be, um, go to your Trader Joe's. Pick this up. It is definitely worth it. It's $9.99 and for all these cheeses. And this is enough for you know, a fairly nice size cheese tray. So, pick it up, and if you need more, pick up two. It's only 10 bucks. And so that ends uh, my 
cheese review from Trader Joe's. Um, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you know when my shows come out, which are Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you like cheese trays and what type of cheeses you like. Um, this was new to me. Um, I'm more of a smoked Gouda and sharp cheddar kind of guy. So this was uplifting for me because now i got some other cheeses I can enjoy. So until then, comment below, thumbs up, be safe, and I'll see you on my next one.